So if you were home shopping this summer, you may have noticed there weren't that many options out there when you're looking to buy a house. The inventory was really low this year, but there were plenty of buyers out there looking to take advantage of the really low interest rates. So you may have been one of those many who decided, you know what, there's nothing out here I wanna buy, let's just build something new. But you might not know where to get started and that's where I come in. Today I wanna to talk about um, how you find a builder and some questions that you should ask. So the first thing to ask yourself is, do you wanna have a custom home built that you are involved in the planning and design process of, or are you okay with the builder kind of taking control of the design and the layout of your home? There are all sorts of builders out there. Some of them will draw their own plans. Some of them bring architects in to draw plans. Some of them are open to customization and will work with you in planning the home of your dreams. And other builders uh, like to work with a set of plans, a few set plans that they're familiar with and they build that plan over and over again. Either option could be great. It just depends on what your needs are and what you're going for. So it's important when you're researching builders to know which kind of builder you're looking for. I always recommend that you do some online research, maybe narrow it down to about three builders and then sit down with those three and see who's a better fit for you. So the first question you wanna ask when you have your builders meetings is what kind of a deposit do you require? It's important to know how much money you'll need to put down to get your project started. The second question you'll want to ask when you have your builders meetings is how is the build financed? Are you going to go to a lender and get a construction loan and carry that loan throughout the build or does the builder finance his own builds? It's important to know going into it just so you can have all the ducks in a row. Number three, this kind of goes along with my first point. You'll want to know up front if the builder allows you to pick all the finishes like countertops, cabinets, light fixtures, etc. Or do they do most of that? Or maybe they have a few set options that you can choose from. Either way, there's no right or wrong answer. It just depends on what you want and what the builder is accustomed to doing. If the builder does allow you to pick your own finishes, you'll want to ask if they work on an allowance system. So what that is, is say that you are able to pick the countertops, but you have a $18,000 allowance. That means that you need to stick within that $18,000 budget. If you go over, you will have to come up with the difference. Um, and you'll wanna ask if, say you come in under budget, say that you find cabinets that you love and it's only 13,000 for the kitchen of your dreams. Will that builder give you a $5,000 credit to go towards something else that's maybe a bigger expense down the road? Say you wanna upgrade your flooring and that credit could go towards the difference there. So just a good conversation to have up front so there's less questions during the process. So the allowances, that was question number four. Question number five, do you have references? So you'll wanna ask the builder if they have any references from previous clients that you could read or maybe you could speak to them in person. Do they have any homes that are in the process of being built that you can walk through or maybe even ones that are fully completed. If the homeowner is open to it, maybe you can take a walk through and see the quality of the work. That's a very important step. Please don't skip this one. Question number six, are you licensed, bonded, and insured? There's a really easy way you can look up a professional license on the State of Alaska website. And if you need help finding that, please reach out and let me know. I'd be happy to point you in the right direction. And then just a simple question to the builder when you're having your meeting. You know, I just gotta ask, are you licensed, bonded, and insured? It can feel awkward, but you'll definitely want to know that you're in good hands. Question number seven. Now this one may seem a little unorthodox, but I would suggest asking the builder about the relationship he has with his subcontractors. I feel as though it can say a lot about a builder if he has a good relationship with his subcontractors and if he uses them time and time again. Number eight, what is your home warranty? 
Do you offer a home warranty? If so, what's covered and how long is it? Maybe it's one year, two year, three years, maybe it's only six months. Just really wanna know going forward, what if something happens after you move in? Who do you call? How do you move forward? Question number nine, ask the builder how involved he or she will be throughout the process. Maybe they will be your point of contact or maybe they have a project manager they'll want you to work with. Inevitably, questions will arise and you'll need to know who to call when that happens. Question number 10 that you should ask any builder you have a builder's meeting with. What is the time frame for our project? How long will it take for my home to be built? And maybe there's a set schedule of when the foundation is expected to be completed, when will the roof go on, etc., etc. It's helpful to know the timeline. And just for your own self, I would suggest having a contingency plan in place just in case the build goes longer than expected. You know, you're very proactive and you tell your landlord, hey, I'm gonna be out on this date. Sometimes unexpected issues arise. What if the build takes a month longer, longer than expected? What are you gonna do? Do you have somewhere to go? It's important to kind of put those things in place just in case. It will help alleviate stress down the road. So there you have it guys. I hope that helped you understand how to get started when you're ready to build a new home. If you need help with that, that's what a realtor is there for. We can do that legwork for you to get the wheels in motion. So if you need help, you're still stuck. If you're in the Valley or South Central Alaska, feel free to give me a call and I would love to help you out. Okay, start over.